Israeli cabinet ministers are calling an organ theft article published in a Swedish newspaper anti-Semitic. The article has created tension between the two nations and Israel is considering legal action against the paper. Israeli cabinet ministers criticized the Swedish government for its silence over the often blotted newspaper's organ theft story and are considering legal action against the paper. The article that sparked outrage in Israel was about the Palestinian accusations dating to early 1990s that Israeli troops took organs from men who died in custody. The article began by noting a case in New Jersey where an American Jew has been charged over trafficking in kidneys. An Israeli officer branded the article as anti-Semitic. It's an unacceptable behavior of the government of Sweden, and I very much hope that uh, it will find very soon uh, the proper way uh, to condemn uh, that uh, publication in the in the Swedish uh, We, on our side, would definitely consider legal actions against the paper who published such an article. The editor of Often Blotet, Jan Helen, hit back hard at Israel for attacking his paper's coverage. He called it an opinion piece raising questions of Israel in the context of a suspected link to Israel in that U.S. case. He denied any suggestion of anti-Semitism from his paper. Israeli media reported that Swedish officials had refused to officially condemn the article, an act they view as an interference to the freedom of speech. Meanwhile, Israeli's government press office, which issues press cards to foreign journalists, was delaying the decision to issue press cards to two reporters of Sweden's often blotted. In the past, in cases where people who worked for very blatant anti-Semitic uh, organizations were denied press credentials. Same thing in this case. We will evaluate to see if uh, often blotted will continue to be uh, a, a center stage for anti-Semitic uh, accusations against the Jewish people, or it will become a, a reasonable and serious media organization. That's what we're going to evaluate. Freelance journalist Matt Gazelius works for Often Blada in Jerusalem. He says he finds the international row a big ado about not so much. One article, not so substantiated, perhaps not the best article that has been written, more of an op-ed piece on the culture page of a, of a Swedish newspaper, and then it becomes a big diplomatic scandal. Gazelia said GPO's intention to delay press cards was a knee-jerk reaction, and it serves no purpose to antagonize Swedish journalists.